What is good you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. Today's video I'm going to show you basically a remake of one of the videos I did uh, I guess a week or two ago now. Basically what it is is it's to allow yourself to get a gun belt, logos, and this one is also going to show you how to do the armor. Alright, so it's kind of like a magic spot for outfits. So if you're wanting to have colored armor like the white colored armor, you want to have a gun belt or air racing belt, and you also want to have your logos transferred over to any outfit, uh, basically uh, in one quick and easy step. This is what you're going to need to do to do that. All right. So this is kind of the revised version of that previous video because I had a lot of people asking me, well, how come the armor is not transferring over? I want the armor to transfer over. I didn't think that was going to be a thing, but apparently a lot of you want that. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to show you on Save Wizard how we need to actually set this up so you can go ahead and do that. So, of course, disclaimer, you do need Save Wizard for this particular method, just like the last one. Um, and that's pretty much the only requirement. So, here we go. Let's get into it. All right, so now we're here on our computer. So, we're on our PC, and we're going to want to load up our Save Wizard, okay? Now, once our, I should say Save Editor. I always get those two mixed up. This is Save Editor. All right, so you want to load up your save, okay? So once you've loaded up your save, you're going to go ahead into the outfit part down here, the actor editor, and we're going to go ahead and edit our shortlist actors, okay? So it's, it's not much difference than before, but I didn't actually show the armor before because that wasn't a concern for me. So just like the old video said, it was strictly for gun belt and logos. But yeah, and I had a lot of people still saying, oh, welcome the armor doesn't transfer, welcome the armor doesn't transfer, blah, 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 blah. Well, that wasn't the intentions of that video. So this video, I'm going to show you, okay? So shortlist actor one, so all these, you know, keep as normal, your multiplayer male or female, free mode, beach bums, all that stuff. Keep all your face as default. Mask, you obviously want to have your penguin mask or your Christmas mask. Hair, obviously default. Skin, you can change that to uh, just unknown 2.0 is what I use, or you can also just use like the default or whichever. Legs, we're going to use the white joggers. Any joggers will work because when you transfer to them female, they're actually uh, invisible, so it doesn't matter. Parachute, we're going to leave this default, so leave that off. Um, shoes, we're going to do the deadline white shoes, again, because there's no component on the female, so we're going to do deadline white. Torso 1, so this is very important, you want to do the strength, alright, so it's this vest, it's called the strength, that's torso 1. Now armor, okay, so this is where it's different than before because I wasn't concerned with transferring the armor over. Now to do the actual armor, you want to pick any of the crew colors, 4 or 5 seem to work the best, so crew white armor 4, crew white armor 5, or whatever color you're wanting to do, if you want to do red, blue, green, doesn't matter. Then we're also going to select the actual racing suit logos that we want or whichever logos that we want. Now, keep in mind some of these logos don't actually transfer. All right, so I don't have a list unfortunately, so it's kind of trial and error, but all the biker suit and racing suit ones do. Now, secondly, on the torso two, it's the sharp white suit. You'll notice it's closed, okay? So there's two actual white suits, one's open. We want the closed one, all right? So it's the sharp white suit one. And I'm also just going to do the green bulletproof helmet. This way I have a helmet so I can do the bulletproof, mel bulletproof helmet method if I want as well. And I don't need to worry about getting one from an adversary. All right. So we have that set up. We can go ahead and save it. And then, of course, we're going to open up our save wizard and assign it to our save. All right. So just like before, I'm not going to get into that. You guys should know how to do that part. Now, I'm going to kind of skip through a lot of this because you know a lot of this stuff you should know already. So once we've got our save, we've gone ahead and uploaded it into our game, we can go ahead and do the DM trailer. All right, so you want to kill the bird just like before. This is what the outfit looks like. So this is the outfit we're going to bring online. So as you can see, you've got the strength vest and everything else, white joggers, white Tron shoes. Now these are just some of the other outfits from this save. Um, if you guys want me to upload this save, I'm thinking about uploading it. So if you guys want it, I can just share it with you. I'll put it on Dropbox or something like that, and then go ahead and share the save with you. So it's just kind of a quick save that I've thrown together. Um, some of the I got to change a couple things on them for some reason. The color of the shoes changed on a few of them, like this one, for example. It's supposed to have blue shoes, but it's got green shoes for some odd reason. Um, and there was another one in here too, I think, going through it here. So just kind of simple outfits. But if you want the save, let me know. 
This one, kind of like a tan and green. Let's see, where was it, where was it? This one here, yeah, for some reason I got yellow shoes on this one. That wasn't meant to be either. So those two I need to fix, but other than that, once I fix those, um, again, if you want me to share it, just comment down below, let me know, and I can share it with you guys. And then this way you'll have this particular outfit saved. So just like any other DM glitch, you want to go ahead and kill the bird, bring this online, blah, 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 blah. So we'll just go ahead and skip through all of that. I'm not going to show you how to do that. And then once we do bring it online, we're going to be doing however method you want, uh, either the Krampus method or the gender swap glitch, whichever one you prefer. I haven't shown the Krampus method. I haven't actually even tried it myself. I still prefer the gender swap glitch, so the video that I have posted on that, I will leave a link down below as well to show you um, where you can go and find that glitch, all right? So once we're online, we've already done the gender swap glitch. We're going to be on our female. This is what it's going to look like, all right? So we had a male character. We swapped over to female. The merge outfit is going to be, or I should say the white jogger outfit is what I have it labeled as. It's going to be invisible. And this outfit here is the merge outfit we want to build. So we want to put all the merge components, gloves, pants, shoes, uh, jacket, even earrings if you're wanting to transfer over the II badge. This is the BMW Deco earrings. Now I've got the zebra top on, which is going to give me the air racing belt. It's the white air racing belt. If you're wanting the gun belt, you're going to use the blue digital uh, t-shirt, which I've shown in the previous video. So make the outfit however you want, everything merge component except for the belt that you're going to be using. And then from there, we just want to go ahead into Crooked Cop. All right, so we want to save this outfit just before the actual white jogger outfit or just after it. Either way, it doesn't matter. And then when we get into Crooked Cop, all you need to do is scroll over to that one outfit and you'll notice that the logos and everything will transfer over as well as the bulletproof vest. So in my previous video, the vest didn't show over because I just picked like a crew uh, color one. All right, so you have to pick four or five. So if we go over to the merge outfit and then one more over to the white joggers, boom, there you go. All right, so you can see we got our merge pants, merge jacket still. We've got the racing belt shirt underneath, but we've got the logos and the white vest. Also the bulletproof helmet, so everything is transferred over. So save it just like you would any other outfit from Crooked Cop. So you can take your earpiece off and then just go ahead and save it. So this is now your merge outfit. That's it. It's that simple. So what we need to do is transfer it back to mail. And then once it's on mail, we can go ahead and transfer it to any outfit. So we've got the shoes. We've got the pants, all merge components, the merge crop jacket, which works with the air racing suit. So this is going to give me the, air, the white air racing belt. It's going to give me the white armor. Um, and then it's also going to give me these redwood logos. Okay. So it's got everything that I want. Actually, it's not the Redwood logos. For some reason, it shows different on the female. As you can see here, it's actually the Burger Shot logos. So when you go from male to female, even the logos change. But it's the original ones that I had, which is these ones here. These are the ones that I wanted. So now you can see we still have the original white jogger outfit. And then the merge outfit is going to be invisible. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here. So this one already has the air racing belt, but it doesn't have the vest or logos. So I'm going to load this one up into Crooked Cop. So I'm just going to move it and save it right underneath the actual merge outfit that we just created. And then from there, we can go ahead and uh, launch up Crooked Cop and merge these two outfits together. And that'll give us uh, the logos and the belt will stay. It'll just transfer over and then the vest as well. So now this slot you can obviously use with any outfit. So any outfit that you have that you've made, whether it's just a standard outfit that you've just you know bought in the clothing store, or it's a save wizard outfit, or it's a DM trailer outfit, doesn't matter. You'll be able to merge this armor, racing belt, or gun belt, and logos over to pretty much any outfit. All right, so I'm just gonna show you here in Crooked Cop that it actually does transfer over. So this one now is, like I said, armor, logos, and belt. All right, so you got the armor that you guys all wanted, and there it is, boom. All right, now I've also got the helmet, so if I want to do the bulletproof helmet glitch, I can go ahead and do that as well. So if I want to get the white helmet, I can do so. Um, but I got the green one on there for now, but you can see the logos come through the vest. They're also on the arm and on the back, as well as on the leg. We've got the white air suit still on there, and we got the vest. So we got everything merged onto the one outfit. So of course, like any other Crooked Cop outfit, just go ahead and save it. Bob's your uncle. You got a fully modified outfit. Pretty sweet. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. Stay tuned for more content like this. Until the next one, this is your boy SCG, and I'm out.